the guy in charge, he was a, you know, a science teacher or something, he came around and he was from PCC, and that's just what you said. He asked me if I'd give a talk there, and I said, well, that's the city college. He says, yeah. I said, I'll be glad to do it. And he was going to offer me some, some money. money. There right. was some money. He was going to offer me some money. It was going to be $50 or something. Nice. This is nice. I said, but it doesn't bother me, the money. I said, there's only one rule, one condition on the whole thing, that I don't have to sign my name more than 13 times, and that includes the check. And he laughs. Ha, ha, ha. How absurd. Okay. Then it starts. I swear. <laughs> I didn't expect it would happen either. I picked the number out of the hat, but I knew there's lots of paper. So first, I have to sign something that I'm loyal to the government, or else I can't talk in the city cop. And I have to sign a double, okay? And then I have to sign some other kind of a release of the city. I can't remember what. And pretty soon, the numbers are beginning to climb up. At first, he's laughing. Then he begins to get a little bit nervous, you see, <laughs> that he's going to ask me for more than 13 signatures. Some kind of a paper I had to sign that I was suitably employed as a professor. There was all kinds of things to ensure, of course, since it's a city thing, that no jerk at the other end was hiring his wife or a friend to come and not even give the lecture. And now it's coming near 11, 12, you know? <laughs> and it got to a position where I think I had signed 12 times or something. I had one more for the check. And then it was the last one that he needed, and he came really sweating. He was very upset. He cannot give me the money unless I sign something that I really gave the talk. I said, but you were there. You heard the talk. If I sign that, I can't sign the check. If I can't sign the check, I can't get any money. So he says, look, he says, this is kind of a silly thing. I said, no, it's not a silly thing. I said, it was an arrangement we made in the beginning, and you accepted it. He says, I've been working very hard. I've been calling all around. I've been trying everything. They tell me it's absolutely impossible. You can't get your money or that's all right. I won't take any money. Well, that might help. But I hate to do this to you. I said, it's all right. Because you made a deal. This is it. I just did a <laughs> crazy guy. Yeah. You, are. <laughs> yeah, the crazy guy. <laughs> you made a deal. He says, yeah, okay. But I, I said, it's all right with me. I said, I don't need the money. It's okay. Don't worry. It's all right. <laughs> then he calls me up. They can't not give you the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have already earmarked the money, and they've got it set, you and you've given it over the talk, and the whole thing is they can't, they have to, you know, <laughs> they couldn't take it back. There was no miscellaneous pot that you could say, the money that this man deserves that was supposed to pay him, but he won't sign for. There was no such a pot. So they went crazy. And I said, well, that's all right. If they have to give me the money, let them give me the money. <laughs> and we went on. It was a long time. It was a very great difficulty. I don't know how he straightened it out. He finally did give some crazy way in which I got the money and signed the 13th signature to cash the check. Wow. Yeah, I guess I'm just mischievous. I just love to do that to people. Well... <laughs> Especially when they're so gleefully happy that it's going to happen, of course, 13 signatures, ha, ha, ha.